Hello everyone, today's car has some admirers and also some haters. You either hate it or love it, but frankly, I guess the number of haters is very few because this is a very wonderful car. It has everything you want, it can take you off-road, it's so elegant, so good-looking, and it's so practical. Everything you may ever want can be found in this G-Class, in its entirely 2019 new generation, which we have today. We have the AMG G63 version, not the 500 standard version. In January 2018, in Detroit, USA, this beautiful beast was launched. When it was released, most people were disappointed. They said, why didn't you keep the design of the previous generation? This is expected, of course. Typically, once a new car is launched, the people who are used to the older generations will immediately criticize the new car. Honestly, once you see this car running the streets, you'll be convinced that it's far better than its older generations. Mercedes was very clever when they considered what people admired in their cars, such as the boxy shape, the design, and the identity of the car. After all, this is an off-road car, a body on a frame, a separate chassis that is attached to a separate body directly, nothing more. The car kept its box shape, kept these front turn signals, and the same ring-shaped headlights, but with some modifications. Other things Mercedes kept include how you open the door. It has the same familiar locking sound. Now we'll try to speed up on the roads using the sports mode to check the car's acceleration. To 120 km per hour instantly. Now let's talk a little about G-Class different models. But before we dive in, it's important to mention that this new 2019 G-Class chassis is made of steel with a thickness ranging from three to four millimeter. Why use such thick steel? because the chassis is expected to be strong, hard, it's expected to provide high safety and advanced capabilities to endure off-road driving, even during towing conditions. The car should be very strong, and that's why it's made of steel. Now, let's talk about the different models. We have the 500 model, and there is the G63 we're trying today. G500 class is equipped with a V-shaped eight-cylinder engine with four-liter capacity, twin turbo, which is also called bi-turbo. The engine provides you with 422 horsepower and 610 newton meter of torque. The G500 class takes approximately 5.9 seconds to accelerate from zero to 100 km per hour. Now about the G63 model. It has the same engine, a four liter V8 with bi-turbo, but the components of the engine are somehow different and the turbocharger's performance is different and it includes the hot inside V technique. This engine is not new to Mercedes. We've seen it before on NGT, E63, C63, and on A63. On all Mercedes AMG models, even on AMG four doors. So this G63 engine provides you with a full 585 horsepower and a torque of 850 Newton meter. This means the car is very fast. Can you imagine? A box shaped car of this size, and it can accelerate from zero to 100 km per hour in just 4.5 seconds. That's a great acceleration considering the car's shape and size, honestly. Despite all physics constraints like air resistance and bad aerodynamics which may affect the car's acceleration, the car still manages to accelerate rapidly. Top speed differs between G500 and G63. The G500's top speed is electronically restricted to 210 km per hour, while G63's top speed is also limited to 220 km per hour. Both models are connected to A9 speed automatic transmission. We have also a lane departure warning system, blind spot system, and all safety related systems. Features like automatic braking and front and rear impact warnings are also included in the 2019 G63. 